Hey guys, welcome back to the Tukes and Tires YouTube channel. As always, I'm Zach, and this week we're building this custom gasser tractor. Hey, is that Timmy's? Yeah, because we're in Canada. <laughs> All right, guys, well, you read the title right. We're turning this tractor into a gasser, because, I mean, if you guys follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you would have seen me pull this out when I was cleaning up the shop. Looks pretty sweet. It's got like a 55 Chevy uh, hood ornament on it. It's got these like sweet uh, slotted wheels. I'm going to try to clean them up a little bit better, but that's all the pressure washer got off of it. But I'm liking all the orange paint and it's got a really sick like I-beam front suspension. So what I've got is when I was cleaning up, I found like a tractor leaf spring that I'm going to modify. And I found some bars and stuff that I'm going to make look like a kind of like a wishbone front end i love hot rods and i mean i have one in the works coming up uh in the near future they're going to work on but i mean this will do for now so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh take out this uh front axle and stuff see how much of this i can get off i'm probably going to have to change up the steering linkage because i want to flip this axle around just because of the i-beam is in the back and it's not on the front and i kind of want that to show so I'm going to get this axle off and we're going to jack it up. I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like. Okay, well, we got the axle popped out of there. It's like most tractors where it's like a center pivot, obviously, so that it can ride over the ground easier. But where we're going, we don't need that. Um, so um, basically, you can see it's got that sweet I-beam. I got to clean up. It's a little greasy. But now what I'm thinking about doing is to uh, make the frame look a, a little nicer. I'm gonna take the plasma that we got from Princess Auto and I'm gonna cut this off straight here. And then what I'm gonna do is I got a tube and I'm gonna weld a tube in the front here. So that way I'm gonna build like a leaf spring perch off the front. And then when I go to build my wishbones, they're gonna come off the side, probably like on an angle or something. I'm gonna try to reuse as much of these brackets as, uh, as I can because they're kind of cool. Um, even if I can use maybe some of these ends or something that I can weld or something onto my pipe so that it has these, I don't know, cool little ends. But uh, I'm going to bring over the plasma. I'm going to cut all this junk off. I'll clean this up. And uh, I'm still undecided which way I'm going to flip this. I mean, it'd be cool to do it as a drop axle, but I don't think the way this axle is designed that it would hold up very long. But uh, I'll probably just end up flipping it over. I mean, we could even just get an idea if we roll it over right now. Come on now, stay here. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. If the axle's up, come on. <laughs> if the axle's up front here like this, so basically we're building like an altered uh, gasser. Okay, you're just doing your own thing? All right. But uh, I'll cut this off and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to modify that leaf spring over there because it's too long, but for something like this, it's obviously going to be fine. So I get this cleaned up, cut off, and then you'll, you guys will see what the madness is going to look like. Okay, so you can see I got that all cut off. And then, uh, so I already made up this tube that's gonna go in here. So basically I'm just gonna weld this in and then it's gonna allow me to make a perch off the front for the leaf spring to bolt to. So I don't have any kind of U-clamps for that, but we're gonna figure it out. But I'm gonna get this welded in, probably not gonna show you guys that, but then we're gonna end up making some brackets and customize that leaf spring over there to uh, fit into this thing. So here we go. Well, now we got a dilemma here. I got this tube welded in here so that we can make a, a mount off of it. And I got the axle kind of placed in here, but you can see how long this leaf spring is that I got. So I have to, it's, when I measure it out from center to center on, on this leaf spring it is uh, about it's about 25 
And what I'm measuring here, because what I think what I'm gonna do is in the inside here is I'm gonna drill a hole through here to make perches that come off or basically they're like shackles. And I think that this thing has to be 16 inches, this leaf spring center to center to make it look half decent. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take it apart. And then the only one that we're gonna cut is gonna be the one with the eye loops in it. So, I mean, that's pretty wallered out there, but it'll have to do. Um, <laughs> Um, I'm gonna cut the center one down. I'm gonna cut it directly in the center, shorten it up so that center to center is um, 16. And then these ones should basically go back on. And then we're gonna drill two holes through it to make a plate that goes on there, bolted to there. And then this axle should technically be sitting in there. So I might come back to once this is all welded and situated together we'll get some holes in that and then you guys might see that this axle is bolted in there okay well the axle's in there and it's looking pretty sweet i still got to do like some like wishbones because the axle is like tipping back and forth but you can see it's kind of got like a mono leaf in the center because that was the best way to do it and uh we repurposed the uh cast iron uh front axle that was in it it's about uh, eight inches forward, and I think it's about four inches higher than what it was, so it gives the tractor a pretty good rake. It's pretty deceiving right now because it's on some like uh, uneven ground, so I, when you get it out on a straight ground, I feel like it should be pretty uh, pretty wicked rake. But we also got excited too, and we put a, a her shifter on it because that looks sick. So I think I'm gonna build up those uh, wishbone arms and then uh, we'll see about throwing the motor into it and i'm going to change these pedals because i don't like the way your feet go there so but that's something simple but we'll get the wishbones made up and then put the motor in so here we go would you look at that it looks sick so i ended up raising in another i think it was like inch and uh, five eighths because i didn't like how low it was in the front end so it's got a pretty good rake to it now I didn't end up getting to do what I wanted to do for the wishbone arms. It's just a straight tube. But I mean, it's got a good look from the front when you when you get a look at it. You can see those bars are going on a little bit of an angle. And I beefed up the front suspension uh, mount thing there with some plates. And uh, I think I'm going to leave these uh, the steps because now that the tractor's on more of an angle, it feels all right. So now I think all the fabrication is done on that. And if you just want to see how I... I kind of did that. It's kind of dark. Sorry, guys. Um, hold on. We got a light. I'm running. So you can see that uh, there's just like an uh, angle iron L bracket type thing onto this this rail, and the rail just kind of goes straight into the side. But now I get the fun chore of trying to put this motor in here. So with the motor, the way it spins is I have to put the input shaft out front. Um, what, Lacey, huh? How's it going? Okay, but, uh, so I have this, uh, it's, it's like an eight and a half horsepower. I'd like to put maybe something bigger in it, but I mean, for now, for cruising, it might be all right. Um, and I got this centrifugal clutch that's going to go on the front. So hopefully that'll be good enough. So what we're going to do now is, uh, I kind of just mocked up that motor. We're going to jack this up. And we're gonna extend the uh, the shaft that goes on the front, so you guys see that once I get this thing kind of lifted up in the air. So, but get the hood down one more time, check it out. It's got a good look to it. I'm liking it. It's pretty sick. Okay, guys. Well, we got her jacked up now. The hood's off, and I drilled it for the motor and marked it where the. Uh, uh, gear is on the motor so you can see I got like a, a line here to just reference me so I don't have to have the motor bolted in here but we got her jacked up so what you can see in here is this is the the old clutch that was on the old motor I took some linkage out of here because the brake and the clutch work the same and this is like all locked up so now it's just pushing the brake but I'm gonna have to try to adjust in that thing so but now what I need to do is because I bought where is it here I bought a bearing like this, and we have a, I think it's a 5.8 shaft that is going to extend off of this shaft, and then it's gonna go up here somewhere. Don't mind these welds, I was welding that upside down, it looks gross. 
Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna build a bracket up here and I'm gonna cut these plates kind of straight off so that we can mount. Essentially, this will be up here, shaft will be there. Gonna make a plate onto the new rod, make an adapter onto that. And uh, this motor should uh, move it then. So we're gonna make that up. I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's installed. And we should be on the uh, road to be moving. So it's gonna be sick. Can you imagine if it rocked a wheelie like that though? Dreams right there. Sick. Guys, well, I'm not taking this apart again because it was way too hard to put together. But what you can see is we uh, drilled through the shaft that was there, made a little coupler, and then uh, you can see there's a gear that's bolted on there and a bearing at the top. So basically now we just got to drop her down and bolt the motor in. So we're going to do that. <laughs> Okay guys, well that was a cool little montage of all the cool little touches I did to this thing. Copper exhaust tip, uh, the custom gas pedal Maple Leaf, because you know it wouldn't be Canadian without the custom Maple Leaf gas pedal. Um, custom uh, patina paint on the gas tank and the full cord cover. Though That video of doing that is on my uh, yeah, Instagram and Facebook. Links are down below, you can go check that out, it's pretty cool. And uh, we've got the custom wheelie bar out back with the LS swap wouldn't be complete without that. Obviously jacked up solid front axle. It's looking pretty sweet. So I think we're gonna rock some wheelies, but I think we need a fair opponent to race. Huh? What's that? Who's coming? Huh? I can't believe it. We better show this guy who's boss. <laughs> shot at the title junior bring it on old man let's do her <laughs> Looks like I lost guys, so you know, I'm gonna have to try again. I'm gonna have to put a bigger motor in this thing, but I think that's gonna do it for now. Thanks for watching guys. This was a fun little project. Um, remember, don't you don't have to build anything that you know means anything. Build something for fun. I mean, build out your scrap you got, whatever. That's what I did. But uh, anyways guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time and don't forget to salute the beaver.